online five, I'm creating property underscore table object by calling the table method and passing the name of the table. On line six, I'm using the put underscore item method to insert my event in the property table. Consider this, you have an Amazon DynamoDB table and now you want to insert data using an AWS Lambda function. Can you do this by writing a few lines of code? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the DynamoDB service, then click on create table and give it a name. I'm going to enter property as my table name and property underscore ID as the partition key, which is of the type number. I'm going to leave the table settings to their default values, then hit create table. Give it a few minutes for the table to get created, then confirm that the status changes to active. Next, let's create an item by going inside your property table, then click on create item from the actions dropdown. I'm going to start by entering a value for my property ID, then add some new attributes such as address, city, and state. Hit create item, then confirm that your item shows up in the items return section. Next, we're going to add an item to our property table from a Lambda function. Navigate to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then navigate to the configuration tab. Choose permissions in the left menu, then click on the execution role. Click on attach policies from the add permissions dropdown, then search for DynamoDB. For this example, I'm going to choose Amazon DynamoDB full access, then click on add permissions. Next, let's head back to the Lambda window and navigate to the code tab. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code that starts by importing the Boto3 library, then creates a DynamoDB resource on line four. On line five, I'm creating property underscore table object by calling the table method and passing the name of the table. On line six, I'm using the put underscore item method to insert my event in the property table. Finally, on line seven, I'm returning the success string. Hit deploy to deploy your changes, then click on test to configure your test event. Give your test event a name, then scroll down to the event JSON section. Here, I'm going to start by entering a value for my property ID key, then enter additional attributes, such as address, city, state, and country. Hit save, then click on the test button to invoke your Lambda function. Looks like everything worked as expected. Let's confirm this by navigating back to the DynamoDB tab. Hit the refresh button under the property table, then confirm that you see your new item displayed in the items return section. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why don't Amazon DynamoDB tables ever get invited to parties?